Hey guys, welcome back to Jamal Rule 16. I am your host Javon, and today we're back for a brand new video. Today we'll be testing out the Intel HD 620 once again, but today we're doing a comparison video. It's a benchmark suite of 8GB versus 16GB of RAM once placed in the system. That's right, we'll be switching between the 8GB stick with the 2133 MHz, and then we'll be switching over to 16GB at the same speed. Everything is the same, the i3-7100U with the 2.4GB hertz clock speed and we're also running with the same ssd in the boot drive and another ssd to hold all of the games as well it's gonna be interesting now i wanted to preface this you could have run this with 8 gigabytes in dual channel memory as well and you would have seen the same performance that's why i i actually picked the games that did not run use over 8 gigabytes of ram because a lot of people were like 16 is a lot more expensive i don't know a lot of my users probably have 8 gigabytes of ram so i just wanted to show you that if you have dual channel it opens doors that you didn't think were possible before dual channel makes a difference guys but I'll let you guys decide that. Or is 8GB in single channel, which is what laptops normally come with. That's what this laptop originally came with. Only 8GB. Is that enough still to run these games? No. <laughs> this CPU is going to struggle with 8GB around with 16 in dual, in dual channel. It does not. But enough about me. Let's dive into some benchmarks, man. I am so excited to show you guys these. And yeah, let's keep on moving. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and let's get into it. First up, we have Hades, which didn't surprise me as much because this is a 2D game. But at 720p, once again, on both sides, as you can see, we're getting over 20 frames extra for at the dual channel RAM. 16 is doing so much more work here. It's crazy to me. So the RAM has gone up by 400 megabytes. We're using 6,000 up as opposed to 5.6. And just like that, the averages are 51 to 81. That is 30 frames. That is an insane performance increase. Okay, so we've gone 3D for Tomb Raider 2013 and performance is still crazy. At 720p low, I'm still seeing over 15 frames per second more than with 16 than with 8. It's insane still. The CPU is even working less hard because we have the 16 gigs of RAM. In dual channel, it just, everything just works way better. It's crazy. So once again, we're only using about 400 megabytes more. Which is why I said that 8 gigabyte, if you have an 8 gigabytes in dual channel, two 4 gig sticks, it would still net you the same performance. This is great as well. This is a much smoother experience. We're even hitting 60 FPS in certain areas. It's crazy. Watch Dogs is the next one on the list, which kind of surprised me because this is probably, this is a bit more demanding, but at 800 by 600 low, we were seeing an improvement here once again. The averages were 33 to 47, which is pretty impressive once again. It did show that we are getting over 10 to 15 FPS lead once again, just from going from single to dual channel RAM. Now with Watch Dogs, this is the most that the RAM has used. It's literally using a whole gig more of RAM than it normally does which is it says something you know it's using a lot more ram here but for this here it seems like this makes the game extremely playable because here it's not even close to 30 fps whereas the 8 gigabytes will definitely dip below i'm not sure that the watchdogs one will dip below if you go outside with the 16 gigs it's quite impressive
Dragon Age's Inquisition's load times seriously need some work, but at 720p low, we definitely saw an improvement here as well. With 16GB of RAM, the game is playable now, which is crazy because in the 8GB video I said that I don't think the game is playable, and 16 definitely makes the game playable, I will say that here. Frame times are still ridiculous, but as you can see, the average FPS is 28 to 39. This is the smallest increase we've had so far, it's barely about 11 frames, but hey, it stays over 30 FPS, which is, look at this whole time I'm running with the 8 gigabytes. it's under 20. It doesn't dip below it, that's a cutscene I just skipped. It doesn't dip below otherwise, it doesn't dip below 30 FPS. Now there is stutters, it is it is once again Intel HD graphics, so there will be stutters and 1% lows are going to still be bad, but it's much more playable. I must say, I've never actually studied 8GB to 16GB so greatly, but man, the performance is crazy. At 720p low, once again with Batman Arkham Origins, we are seeing over 20 frames. An increase with just dual channel RAM. As you can see, the RAM is still using the, it's less than 5GB of RAM, even with the 16 gigs, and the performance is just night and day. The 1% lows are the same though. Like I said, integrated graphics, the 1% lows will be bad. We don't have VRAM, the 1% lows are going to be terrible regardless, but the frame rates are so much higher. These are running at the same resolution. It's not even using 8GB of RAM, but it is so much better. Guys, Get dual channel, please! Not gonna lie, didn't think this one was possible, but with Sleepy Dog Definitive Edition at 960 by 540 low, dual channel RAM has made this game playable. That is insane to me. I thought for sure you needed the you needed the one that came before Definitive Edition, just the normal Sleeping Dogs, but apparently not. Dual channel RAM will give you over 30 FPS in this game. Once again, we are using uh, like over a gig more RAM, but it is performing considerably better. The CPU usage as well. It is a smoother, much smoother experience. Remember me has a lot of issues on just regular issues just trying to play the game period but with the dual channel it definitely helps at 720p low once again we're seeing that the CPU load has been lifted off of its shoulders once again even in certain areas of 16 gigs we're hitting 60 frames per second it's 17 frames less that is insane to me but hey, once again, as I told you before, we're using almost a gig more RAM. Once again, it's using 4.6 when you have 16 as opposed to 3.8. But hey, this is another smooth experience. Next up, Castlevania Lord of Shadows 2. Honestly, this had the best performance I've seen so far. 
I was getting 60 FPS on average with the 16 gigabytes. That is insane to me. A 720p low medium once again with these settings. This has transformed the game into such a smooth experience. Single versus dual channel RAM, even on integrated graphics. With the Intel HD, they say about AMD, but with Intel HD, it's the same thing, man. The performance is crazy different. As you can see here, this is really smooth stuff, guys. Moving on. And finally, we have Devil May Cry 2013, which also, once again, at 720p low, has shown what a crazy, crazy increase a dual channel will do for you. Once again, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Though. Don't forget to please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. In conclusion, I also, I always wanted to do a video like this, showing you guys the difference between single and dual, because a lot of people will tell me I have eight gigabytes in single, or I have four gigabytes in single, and they kind of ask if they're gonna get the same performance. And I'm always like, no, why would you ask me something like that? It, it seems kind of crazy. Now I want you guys to see this and understand why. Single versus dual channel or integrated graphics, especially when you're playing older games, will do the night and day it's literally like i have a better gpu bro that's crazy the improvements are insane all around look at this this is hitting 60 fps in certain areas of the game but once again i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to please leave a like comment share subscribe and if you guys enjoy this type of content really really would appreciate it if you guys hit that subscribe button it really helps me out i will post more stuff like this we'll even do four gigabytes versus eight gigabytes in dual channel just to show you guys but yeah i will see you guys next time i hope you guys enjoyed this